Hello everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome back to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Never Dreamed You'd Live in Summer. It sounds just like this. Alright, for this first part, we're going to take a look at the intro. We're playing in the key of C. And for this intro, we're going to use two chords, starting with C major, playing C on the left, E, G and C, right hand. And then moving up on F major 7. F. F, A, and E on top. I'm going to play the chord with a grace note, D, going up on E. I'm playing D with my fourth finger, like this. So to recap, we have C, and then F major 7. Goes like this. Two, three, Four. So let's start with the left. I'm going to play C on the first beat and then replay the note three more times and then once again right before playing F like this. One, two, and three. So that's for the first measure. Then for the next, playing over F, I'm going to replay the notes pretty much for the entire measure, counting in eighth notes. So that's one and two and three and four and. So one and two and three and four and. And then on the last eighth note, I'm going to play G. So I'm playing F with my third finger, moving up on G on the last eighth note. One and two and three and four and. and that's the pattern. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. After that, repeat. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, perfect. Now with the right hand. I'm playing E, G, C on the first beat. And then I'm going to replay G and then E alone. And after that, replay E, G, C, followed by E, G, B, back to E, G, C. That's for C. One, sorry. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. And then next measure, we're simply going to play F major seven and hold it for the entire measure. One, two and three and four and one, two, three. Repeat, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Perfect, let's combine the two patterns, left and right. Two, three, four. Just after that, we're starting the verse, playing the same chord progression, so moving from C to F. And we're going to see that in details in part two. For now, let's recap.
that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also, don't forget to subscribe.